Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Breakdown How To. Today we're going to show you guys how to set up a free landing page with Wix. Now once you sign up for Wix, which you can do down in the description below, it's the first link, all you need to do is come over to your dashboard, come over to My Sites and hit Create a New Site. Now it's going to ask you what kind of site do you want to create. So for this we're just going to choose something simple because we're going to go in and customize it a little later. So in this case we're just going to design a page for a business and then we're just going to use the Wix editor so just choose a template here. And then the first thing we want to do is choose a landing page. Now as you can see you have the coming soon landing page right here. That's not necessarily what we're looking for but you can scroll through a lot of these templates and most of these are landing pages. Now one thing that I want to do is come down here to where it says landing pages and from here you can pick a landing page template that will actually work for you. Now you can pick the under construction landing page but that's a little cheesy and considering we're going to assume that your business is already launched we can just go ahead and scroll down to some of these landing pages down here. Now instead of picking a coming soon landing page we're just going to come over to this next page and then we can pick another template from here so for example let's say you have a startup we can choose this one right here we'll go ahead and hit edit this one is called the startup landing page it's pretty simple but as you can see you have plenty of landing pages here that you can do such as a startup company or an app landing page if you're launching an app so we'll come over here to this tab and as you can see here we have the landing page now here you have your header which is pretty much just your logo uh, some text down there and your menu bar. Now that's pretty basic so you can go ahead and change the menu bar by clicking on menu and pages over here and you can change the way the menu bar works. Now one thing I will say is that because this is a landing page you don't really want to have sub menus under your menu so for example hover over home and then it show the app and stuff like that you really just want the menu bar to be as simple as possible because it's going to be anchored to these modules down here which is pretty much going to mean that when you click on the menu bar such as the app it's going to take you down to the section where it talks about the app and so on and so forth so for the about us section it's going to take you down to the about us section now the first thing you'll want to work with when you set up a landing page is really customizing it to your own so for example we need to change the page background now luckily Wix has tons and tons of free themes and free backgrounds for your headers so for example you even have a floating particles video background so you can click on that here and then you can actually preview it and you can see what that will look like in the background of your page that is one of my favorite features about Wix let's say for example you have this in the office one hit play it's gonna show this beautiful video of people working in the office one of the best things you can do for your website business app whatever is show faces show people it helps people connect with your brand a little better so we're just going to close out of that real quick let's say we have this picked out this is what we're going with now we need to change some of the copy so to do this it's actually really simple because Wix is a WYSIWYG editor that means you can click on any element drag it around to where you want it and then you can align it the way you want it as well so for example let's say I want this text here I can go ahead and click on it I can change everything about it from the backdrop to the highlight to the, where it links to to the font to the heading to the font size pretty much anything about it you can change so for this I'm going to change the font to something a little more bold let's say I'll go with this font right here uh, that's actually a little hard on the eyes but this is just for examples so we'll just change this to welcome so then another thing I want to do is add a text module under this so I'm gonna move this download the app button down a little bit I'm gonna close out of this properties window and then I'm going to add a text element so to do that you just come over here to text add text and for this we'll just do a heading 4 and then all you have to do is drag it over to where pretty much you want it to have the text so I'm actually going to change some things about this text. I don't want it to be black. Let's say I want it to be white. We can go ahead and change that there. We'll make the text a little bit smaller and we'll keep the font the same. In fact, we'll actually change it to the light version of the font. Then we can come over here and change the font. So then we can just drag this over here to align it a little better. As you can see, it's actually looking pretty decent now. Now the only thing is you don't want to make everything left aligned in your header. You want to have some variety, but for this example I think this is going to work pretty well. So the next thing we'll want to do is change some of these images. Now luckily with Wix you actually have the option to change these images around 
very easily. For example, this image is linked pretty much inside of the other image. So let me just undo what I just did. Um, and then you can come in here and change this image. So for this example, I'm just gonna choose a free from Wix stock photo. Uh, so in this case, I'll just choose this man working with coffee and using an app. Now, the one thing, it's going to go ahead and automatically crop it to the size of the phone, which actually makes everything pretty perfect. So now we have three devices on the home page. Then another thing we can do is come over here and change this image, which is just going to allow us to change the image inside the tablet. So for this, I'll just pick something a little bit different. Uh, let's say I'll pick this image right here of laptop and coffee. Now this doesn't really show up an app, but you get the idea. The next thing we can do is come down here, change all of the text and change everything around. Something I do wanna point out, you can see right here, if I just move this over to the side, this little anchor right here. Now what this means is that when you preview the page or when you're on the page uh, in real time, what you can do is click on these right here in the menu bar and what that's going to do is drag you down to the anchor. So if we go back to the editor, we can see what I'm talking about with that anchor. This right here shows that it is linked to something in the menu bar. Now what an anchor allows you to do is pretty much what I just explained with having you be able to click something in the menu bar and the page automatically transition and scroll down to the page. This is really good for landing pages because it makes things much cleaner, much more beautiful, and it makes the entire website work a little bit better. So you can actually change the anchor settings around here. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. What you need to do is essentially just play around, test the elements, drag stuff around, mess up, make mistakes, start over. Just play around with this, but this is going to be how you create a free landing page with Wix. When you're done, you just hit save and then publish, and then it will be automatically posted online and you can link people to that landing page from there. But like I said, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Don't forget to sign up with the link down below. It is our affiliate link, which means every time someone signs up, it helps us out and we can create more tutorials for you.